Well, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got something brand new from the folks at Giant Mouse on the table. This is part of their Ace line. This, <laughs> uh, this is the Nibbler, and this is a Vox Anzo design. Um, <laughs> it's very, very small, but very cool just the same. Uh, it's all aluminum. It is N690 steel. Bowler N690 steel. Uh, it is just a little two-finger pocket chunker. It's got a wire clip on it that, as far as I can tell, is the same size as the Spyderco clips. So you could, in fact, put an aftermarket clip on this if you wanted to. Um, it's a cool little design, and it's very colorful. They make these in a few different colors as well. Now, these are these just dropped. They're 95 bucks, um, which is not insignificant, but... It's still very cool. And so as I said, it is all aluminum, including the backspacer. It's very pretty, by the way. It is left and right friendly. You can swap the clip. Uh, it is a liner lock with a steel liner on the inside there. Um, it's actually got liners on both sides between the aluminum and the blade, which I think is very cool. It's got a lanyard spot if you're into that sort of thing. I don't, but you might, and if you do, you can, although and you know, actually, quite frankly, on a knife this small, a lanyard makes a lot of sense. Um, the blade shape is very, very useful. Um, we've had this around the house for a couple of days now, and I've cut up a bunch of little things with it. And I've really enjoyed it. Now, I will get the one thing out of the room, out into the room, before we go any further. I can't flip this thing very well. Part of it is a size issue. Ish, ish, you. Women carry knives can do it. I can do it sometimes. Like, like that, I can, but it takes considerably more will and intent that I'd like, and it's because it's really small for me to get my hands on. So, if I'm not thinking about it and I just pull it out, I can do it. Uh, but I did notice that when I did some test runs on video, I screwed up a lot. So, however, you don't have to flick this thing. It's really easy to just roll open. And quite frankly, in a knife this small, where you're looking for sort of positive control in the hand, just... Right, just sort of rolling it open makes a lot of sense. But you can flick it. Um, I just generally don't. The aluminum is really well done, and this is Riot made, which I thought was very cool. I didn't know Riot even worked in uh, N690 steel, but here you are. Nibbler is kind of a fun name. So let's take a look at what you get in the brand new Giant Mouse Ace Nibbler. Dun, dun, dun. I'll put a link, by the way, in the description to the giant mouth website where you can find these. So what do you get for your 95 bucks? You get uh, one and three quarter inches of cutting on just two inches of N690 steel. The grip area from behind that swell is one and a quarter, one and three quarters inches, right? So it's these two fingers. Now, because of the way this is shaped, your hand closes up really nicely around the back of the knife. I mean, it's a really, really locked in and it's fantastic for draw cuts, right? It just works its way across the board or whatever you're cutting really, really well. Now, N690 is stainless, so you could do really thin pieces of salami or carrots or even cut up your lemon for your evening drink without worrying about leaving marks on the blade like you would with D2 or something like that. The detent on this thing is really, really, listen to this. It just sucks it in, it's amazing. Um, this became exactly dead nuts centered, which is really, I gotta move up, it's so small. <laughs> I think it's really pretty. We're gonna do our basic size comparisons, of course, but I wanna, so we'll start right with the obvious stuff just so you can see, re oh, no, before we do that, let's do overall length because apparently I'm losing my mind. Uh, we're looking at a little over four and a half inches total. Right. It is a very small knife. Now in the pocket, it's kind of thick, um, it chews up, an inch and a quarter, right? And the closed length is two and three quarters inches. So it, again, this is just a little tiny fistful of knife. And I like it, I do. Um, it's a little small for me for daily use, but as a backup tool, this makes a lot of sense. Um, a knife that is right on the cusp, one that I actually do use as an EDC that isn't too small on the regular is the baby banter. This is the baby banter, and you can see it is considerably less baby than the nibbler. I do want to point out, though, that when it comes to actual cutting surface, you're getting an 
you know, a sixteenth of an inch more on the baby banner. So you get almost the same amount of cutting surface, right? So if you're familiar with the baby banter, you're really, you, you'll, you'll understand the nibbler. Um, here, of course, is the Little Native from Spider Co., which is, again, very similar. This has a little bit more blade, a little more cutting, but you get a lot more handle. The nibbler is tiny. That is my cat making a bunch of noise. Staying in the small knife vein, here it is against the bug out. And as you can see, the bug out, compared to the nibbler, the bug out looks like a pocket sword. Which leads us to our next full size knife. We're now going to compare the nibbler against the PM2 just because I think it's ridiculous. There you go. Right, so you can, the, right, the nibbler is a tiny knife, but well made, thoughtfully designed. I really like it. And of course, the guy, box and Enzo always do such a good job. <laughs> I think it's the smallest knife I've ever, no, no, the Fire Ant from. Tucson is the smallest knife I've ever reviewed on purpose, but this thing is tiny. <laughs> it really is. So what do you get? Well, like I said, you get your N690, and let's see, it's not a terribly thin slice of it. I think we're going to come in uh, 120 thousandths of an inch, which is, you know, a little over three millimeters of blade steel. And because it's a nice tall blade, it does come down to a very slicey edge. Uh, because of the sort of Warncliffe shape of the blade, uh, it's got a lovely bit of chamfering right here, right? It looks really nice. It's wedged out beautifully. Um, it's still relatively robust at the tip, but there is a pokey enough tip that if you needed to give something a little prod, as I always say, to move it along. In other words, for um, stab cuts. <laughs> is that a thing? We'll go with that. Uh, you could do that with this. And because, you, because of this shape, you do get a positive, a positive enough grip that it's not going to slip out of your hand. Right, when you stab something with it, which is really nice. The action is very good. Um, it's very light, so you kind of, you know, you manipulate it that way. I, I want to say it again. I can flick this thing open sometimes. The detent is really stiff on this one, but I can thumb roll it open every single time without issue. Um, your experience may vary. I don't know if I just have a particularly strong detent on this one. Um, but just to be aware, I think if, you, if I had smaller hands, I might be able to flip this open easier, but again, it's tiny. <laughs> Let's weigh it out, just because I'm curious. Somebody said this reminds them of the CRKT Pilar, and I'm not going to argue, although this is considerably nicer. And coming in at 95 bucks, the materials are a little better, the fit and finish is a little better than you get from CRKT, well, actually a lot better than you get from CRKT. And I think it's cooler looking, quite frankly. So where do we weigh in at? All right, so this is dead on two ounces, which, you know, for a two inch blade, two ounces, set that ounce per inch. Not doing too bad. So there you have it. This is the brand new nibbler from the folks at Giant Mouse in the minds of, of uh, Jens Anzo and uh, Voxnays. This is... Very cool. <laughs> what do you think, women carry knives? I love that knife. Yeah, it's right up her alley. So the Vox Anzo design, made by Riot, coming in at 95 bucks. It is, it's a nifty little tool. It really is. That's where we're going to end this. Thank you so much for watching. I have appreciated your time today. Um, I'll put a link in the description to the uh, Giant Mouse website where you can find these if you're interested. As I said, they do come in a bunch of different colors. I hope you've enjoyed this look at this tiny little, but tiny and little, but very functional little knife. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.